We've got school districts that are being put on probation for saying that kids aren't going to be forced to wear masks, but masks are going to be recommended or masks are going to be optional. And this all uh, a long saga of the Illinois State Board of Education uh, trying to implement Governor J.B. Pritzker's COVID-19 mandates. There is not a state law as of right now when it comes to COVID-19 mandates and masks. But the governor's orders through the Illinois State Board of Education uh, being enforced by putting school districts on probation. So there are eight school districts on probation right now. Seven of them are non-public schools. They're private schools. One of them is a public school, Hudsonville. uh, And that's because they've been mask optional uh, since the start of the year. Some other school districts, though, starting to uh, make masks optional after going all the school year with a mask requirement. Uh, And uh, one of those recently we've talked about was Vandalia Public Schools. They're going to start doing their mask optional policy uh, sometime early next month. Uh, Several other school districts also making masks optional, including St. Elmo School District. And we're joined now on the WMAY Morning News Feed. I'm Greg Bishop. Josh Folk, he is a school board member with St. Elmo on the WMAY Newsline. Josh, thanks for taking time with us this morning. Uh, And let's uh, let's get right into it. Uh, Let's uh, talk about uh, what the decision was out of the uh, St. Elmo School Board. Good morning. Good morning, Greg. Hey, yeah, so our uh, school board voted on Thursday night to go to strongly recommended for indoors for students, staff, and visitors who are not fully vaccinated. However, we are still following the CDC states the masks are to be worn within public transportation. So we're still following the CDC on that, and uh, that all started yesterday. So Monday, uh, students went to school with uh, masks strongly recommended. Uh, where, what was the policy before the vote last week? So before the vote last week, the uh, policy was to um, basically follow IDPH, which we were one of the schools uh, that started the year mask optional and uh, switched back, and now we are back to the uh, strongly recommended. Josh, we've uh, seen uh, other districts, of course, uh, embroiled in litigation with the Illinois State Board of Education. Um, Are you guys prepared uh, to to pay for court costs uh, to defend this local decision? So I'm one. I'm, uh, of course, on the board. And I uh, I'm fully ready to as a uh, as a uh, member of the board. And and we're so ready that. um, Thursday night at the meeting, whenever it came to it's been talked about that Hudson Hudsonville's legal costs uh, were uh, with 160 schools that were involved in that make it local campaign that if each individual student was uh, basically paid, well, basically each individual student was accounted by 0.84 cents, um, that that would cover their legal expenses is up to now that they've used to fight uh, for the uh, through the IHSA uh, implementation and so what. So as uh, board members, as individuals uh, from the St. Elmo School District, as and like I said, members individually, we all forked over uh, and donated the cost to uh, support that. So just for clarity, was it uh, 84 cents or 0.84 of a penny? The- the uh it's 84 cents per student gotcha okay because with the uh, 160 i've got right here so the 160 student or 160 schools uh there's a total of 50,718 students and the court cost so far uh that was released um it basically breaks it down to the 84 cents per student so each individual school member school board member paid out $60 out of our own pocket to donate to uh, to support this cause until, of course, it goes forward. I'm talking with Josh Volk. He is a member of the St. Elmo School Board. St. Elmo is just west of Effingham on I-70, and uh, they're going, uh, well, they have implemented a, a mask recommended policy uh, that started yesterday. Uh, and uh, I imagine uh, this is something that uh, a lot of the parents in the district uh, pushed for. Uh, talk about that uh, here in about a minute and a half left uh, of, of what you've been hearing from parents uh, throughout the entire school year. 
So throughout the whole school year, it's been very vocal on one side and very quiet on another. Ones that were forward following and seeing what happened throughout the year. And I think we start out in my personal interest. I've, I've experienced about 50% of parents each way at the beginning. And now I would say more parents that contact me, I, I get more of a 90, 10 ratio of, uh, 90% of parents that are ready to rip off the mask and go optional. And that's, that's also changed with a whole lot of what I'm hearing is with the child vaccinations, five to 11 being uh, available now. And that's, that's one of the things that is changing parents' minds. Josh, uh, greatly appreciate you taking the time with us. We'll definitely check back in as we uh, expect uh, St. Elmo schools to go on probation, uh, just as uh, other school districts are being put on probation. And I imagine that list is going to grow uh, quite a bit as we uh, uh, progress through uh, the rest of the school year, uh, whether or not those uh, mask mandates remain in place uh, from Governor J.B. Pritzker. Have a great day. All right. Be safe. Thank you. You too, Greg. From the Fly SPI studios, take the easy way out. Stay informed. Stay connected with WM.